Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis is helping raise money for Ukrainians during this crisis. Now, they say they have a duty to act as they are all too familiar with what those overseas may be going through. News Aid's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey, joining us now with this story. Katira, it's so interesting when we see different cultures understanding the need for humanity. Absolutely, and humanity is included in humanitarian. And the Jewish community leaders say that the turmoil in Ukraine isn't too different from what Jewish people living there experienced in the early 1900s. And there are still roughly 200,000 Jews still living there. But the Federation says this fund won't just support the Jewish, but any one stuck in this crisis. Poland shares a border with Ukraine, and since Russia began its attack, more than 1.6 million people have gone to Poland for safety. It's a part of history that looks familiar for many Jews in that region and around the world. Around the turn of the century, 1900, they all left as small children. They actually had to sneak out. I literally Remember my grandmother telling stories of hiding in hay bales. Aaron Spiegel's grandparents are from what is now Ukraine. He's the interim executive director of the Jewish Community Relations Council. Before uh, World War II, there were two and a half million Jews living in Ukraine. In modern times, now about 200,000. The Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis, along with other federations around the country, have put support behind the humanitarian efforts so far nationwide. Federations have raised $25 million, and the local federation reached a donation milestone. The donations will support Ukrainians with transportation, housing, setting up Wi-Fi, hotspots, and other on-the-ground resources. Communities being oppressed, especially violently like they are in Ukraine, that that we will do whatever we can to help. Spiegel says this is a humanitarian issue, one that touches people for its historical connection and it happening near many people's homeland. Assimilate, basically be, convert or be killed. And two local families stepped up to match donations up to $50,000. And so far, the Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis has raised $130,000 in just a few days. The fundraiser is still open. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey. Katira, thank you.